Hey guys, I know it's been a really long time, so I wanted to do a quick update of what's going on with my studio and my move so you don't think I've completely fallen off the planet. For those of you who may not know, I'm Photo Joseph. I have moved from Oregon, USA to Maribor, Slovenia. This is my new home, and setting up my studio here has taken just a little bit longer than I expected it to. So I wanted to show you the kind of the status of things right now, show you a little bit of what I'm doing so you can see what to expect in the coming weeks and months as I finally start producing content again. So let's take a quick tour of the studio. Let me share what we're doing here. So believe me, I know this is a complete and total disaster here, but it will all eventually come together. So the space is actually quite large. You can see that I've got was essentially two large rooms in here with a huge door in between them. Uh, maybe consider just one big massive space. So essentially I've got my desk over here. Let's start with that. This is one thing that has been set up for a while. So I've got my kind of master workstation here, three monitors set up with a reference monitor, my speakers and everything else. So all my editing, basically all my work happens here. And, and I like the way this is faced so that I can see, well, not much because the monitor's in the way, but I can see the studio behind me. And eventually, although I'm probably gonna change this the back of the setup has these wall panels behind it, but I think that'll that'll probably change because I'm not really too thrilled with that. Over here in this corner, I've got storage, which is a huge mess because, well, there's too much stuff to get put away right now and some of this has to get put onto cameras, but that is the kind of storage corner over there. Sweeping back over to this side, we've got the studio rack and this was a major, major thing to be building and putting in here. You can see that here that I've got all my old studio rack gear in here, broadcast, live streaming, switching networks, and so on. All of this is here in place. And all of this is what I'm working on right now, is getting all the wiring from this, which is going to go through the ceiling. And this is one of the great things I love about this place, drop ceiling, which means I can run wires all the way over to here to where the shooting will actually happen and pull wires out of the ceiling. So you can see here, I've got a couple of drops set up already where the cables will come out of the ceiling and drop down to the cameras down below so like this for example is a two camera wiring setup the primary set will actually be camera facing this way so i'll have two cameras set up here pointing out using the whole studio area as a background there's my tabletop and i'll be standing at that and then that will be the primary view so basically a wide shot and a tight shot from here up above on the ceiling there will be mounted down a top down camera so your classic top down view and then behind that, so you can see I've got another cable drop coming out of the wall or out of the ceiling there. To this, I will have a camera that can be a close up, uh, you know, kind of pointing at the table. So that camera can be moved to any side. And then on the other side, from that one coming out of the ceiling, again, another camera. And this one would be an over the shoulder tight shot, which would, uh, well, it could actually live on either side, it could live on this side or be dragged over here to keep it out of view, keep the cable out of view, but still pointing at something on the table. There's nothing here yet, but there is just a real simple set going in. And that is gonna be a permanent set for a specific show that I'm going to be hosting for a client starting in December. So starting in frankly, just a few weeks. So we really gotta get this together, but I'll be hosting a show uh, from here once a month for that client. And I'll be updating you more about what that's gonna be pretty soon. So that's one of the four sets you see in the first one, that's the second one. So now let's go take a look at set number three. This will be set three. Actually, this is gonna be my live setup for doing live shows where the outdoors will be the background. So yes, that means I have to have a tremendous amount of light on a sunny day on this side. So who knows, maybe that'll change a little bit. But the idea there is that I have a simple two camera setup that is just dedicated to live. So I can go live anytime from there. Kind of like I used to do back in the day. I wanna do a lot more live. And so I'm building a set specifically for that. Now for the final set, there's absolutely nothing set up here yet, but this is going to be a simple one camera chair setup. That is for the talking headshots where I just wanna have me in a chair, looking straight at the camera, reading from a teleprompter, like I used to do in what I called the red chair set back in Oregon. Here's something I've always wanted and never had an actual workbench, a place for tools, a place to build stuff. And this has been tremendously awesome to have. I'm so stoked to finally have this here. So this has become very, very useful in the setup here. Over on the other side in the other corner, you will see what will eventually just be storage for tripods, light stands, that sort of thing all here. And then finally, this spot over here is going to be kind of a tabletop photography area for doing thumbnails and stuff like that. There's going to be a couch eventually going over there. A second desk will sit there. 
you know, makeup table goes there or maybe something else will change, who knows. So that's the place. You can see that it is coming together, but it's taken way more time than I wanted it to, but I promise I am almost done. I, I know it doesn't look like it, but it's kind of remarkable how much closer to finish this is than it was before. Um, we've come a long way and there's still a lot to do, but content will start coming soon. So thanks for checking it out. Wait for me, I'm coming back.